Heritage Foundation senior legal fellow, former Department of Justice attorney, best-selling author, Hans von Spakovsky is joining us. Uh, great to have you with us. Author of Obama's Enforcer, Eric Holder's Justice Department. Great to see you. Thanks for having me, Lou. Uh, Hans, let's start with the idea of an intelligent background check. We already have background checks uh, right. that affect uh, all uh, licensed uh, arms dealer sales, uh, firearms dealer sales in this uh, country. Uh, what do you think? What's your reaction to that idea? Uh, I'm really not sure what what they're talking about. As you say, uh, the vast majority of gun sales in this uh, country already, uh, people have to go through a background check uh, to do that. So the very small percentage of sales, usually from one private owner to another, that don't have to go through that, uh, almost none of uh, those kind of sales have been implicated in uh, the recent mass shootings across the country. So the idea that that somehow going to prevent this from happening. There's no evidence or data to support that. That's an emotional argument, one that's not based on the facts. I, and this is the same narrative already being right. uh, shaped. Uh, you know, first the little background discussion, then the red flag discussion, and already right. McConnell has taken us to, to where they're headed. Assault weapons are semi-automatic weapons, in point of fact, is what they're talking about. Right. Uh, it, you know, it, it's it's such a uh, an assault on the Second Amendment that you can just see brewing here, and suddenly uh, the rhinos are uh, in the, uh, if you will, in the spiral. Well, no, I agree with that. And for example, this so-called ban on assault rifles. Look, uh, there's no appreciable difference between an assault rifle, which is basically a semi-automatic rifle, Correct. and the kind of semi-automatic rifles people use for hunting. And sure. remember. We, we used to have one of those, it expired, and it made no appreciable difference uh, yeah. across the country when we had it before. It, right. I mean, look, I, that, it's not any different than having uh, a semi-automatic pistol, uh, which also can oh. shoot very quickly. So I, the idea that's going to make some kind of difference again, uh, that's, a, a, that's an emotional argument again. It's not based on facts. And, and, and you can hear the drumbeat in the national, yes. the, the leftist media. This right. is fundamentally a Second Amendment issue and a, a, an issue of American citizens' rights to bear arms. And right. if I, I just hate to hear, frankly, the president start talking about this intelligent background checks because it becomes uh, just a, an artifice for what the, uh, the left wants, and that is to, uh, to infringe on our Second Amendment rights. Do you, do you disagree? No, I, I don't disagree uh, at all. I mean, it is a constitutional right, and some of the things they're talking about, you know, I, I really wonder uh, if people would, would realize, for example, uh, you know, your right to vote is a constitutional right, and yet uh, there are so many of these liberals who say, well, you shouldn't uh, have to show an ID right. uh, when you go vote. Uh, you have to show an ID when you go buy a gun. You know, what's, wh wh why is there such a big difference uh, between the two? Uh, one is that uh, you know <laughs> that the left has made the uh, has carried the narrative, uh, and the rhinos have uh, overtaken the Republican Party. Uh, and instead of preserving conservative uh, values and principles within that party, constitutional principles and values. Hans, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Sure, thanks for having me. Always good to see you.